how does exercise improve your brain function. Hello friends, I'm Dr. T. Today we're going to look at this question. How does exercise improve your memory and your brain health? There are really four mechanisms. The first one is called cardiorespiratory fitness. Improving your fitness level, increasing your cardiac output, increases blood flow to your brain, takes more blood and more nutrients to the brain, and actually facilitates removal of waste products and toxins. The second mechanism is called angiogenesis and in fact is the ability that we have to form new blood vessels in the brain and exercise promotes that through two hormones one is called VGF is vascular growth factor the other one is insulin like growth factor one the bottom line you have the ability to actually develop new blood vessels in your brain third one is my favorite is the ability we have as adults to to grow new nerve cells and this is called neurogenesis and I can tell you when I went to medical school we were taught neurons and brain cells and actually muscle cells the myocardial fibers in your heart and skeletal muscle that these cells we cannot replicate what we were born with that's what we got and uh, if we lost or they were damaged uh, we could not get the, them back we know now that's actually not the case as adults we can grow new nerve cells exercise actually has the ability of uh, generate new brain cells because promotes a neurotransmitter that is in fact a fertilizer to your brain. It's like miracle growth for your brain. It's called BDNF, a brain derived neurotrophic factor. And you could increase it three times with exercise, not only in adults, but also in young people as well. It's just quite remarkable. Studies done at Krolinski Institute in Sweden have actually shown that we could grow 700 to 1500 new brain cells per day in the area of the brain called hippocampus that is responsible for your memory. You may think, well, this is not that much, but in reality, by the time you turn 50, you replace all your brain cells in this part of the brain you were born with, with the newer ones. Let's have some fun and do a quiz. I'll give you a set of activities and behaviors you tell me, thumbs up if increases the formation of new brain cells or thumbs down does not. Let's get going. Start with learning. Thumbs up. In fact, every time you learn a new skill, you learn a new set of facts, you're actually creating new brain cells. What about sleep deprivation? Thumbs down. Sleep is very important for your health, and if you don't have seven hours of sleep a day, you have sleep deprivation, you actually damage your brain health as well. What about stress? Thumbs down. Stress is not good for your overall health, it's not good for your brain either. What about sex? Yes, sex is in fact is a thumbs up, it increases your formation of brain new cells. Another benefit of having a healthy sexual life. What about getting older? Thumbs down. In fact, getting older decreases the process, the neurogenesis, but does not stop it. The good news, we do have some control over it and we could improve it and enhance it. What about walking and running? thumbs up you will increase your number of brain cells especially in the hippocampus the area of the brain responsible for your memory and memory is very important because it defines who you are the benefits of exercise are not just limited to your brain and if you want to learn more about this i'll check this video the magic pill the secret to better health i'll put a link on the top and the description below fourth mechanism that you exercise improves your brain health is called neuroplasticity imagine in the brain cells as branches of a tree and exercise leads to grow of these branches and they create new buds and bloom and reconnect with the other branches to other brain cells improving your cognitive function in reality the most transformative thing the exercise will do is in fact protect you from develop this terrible diseases the alzheimer's dementia and parkinson's exercise is not going to cure these diseases but will uh, remarkably decrease your risk of developing them and if you develop them could delay for a decade or more improving significantly your quality 
quality of life. In conclusion, exercise improves your memory and brain health because it improves blood circulation to your brain, creates new blood vessels, creates new brain cells, and improves the connections between these brain cells. And remember, you have your most precious asset, take control. Exercise, subscribe, see you next video. Oh, I forgot something. Love your brain.